Hey everybody, this is Devin with HDPiano.com, and today we're going to be looking at Make You Feel My Love, a beautiful song written by Bob Dylan, but we're going to be checking out the piano part from the Adele version. I'm going to show you guys how to play the intro in this video, but the rest of the videos with the rest of the song can be found over at HDPiano.com. Here's what we're learning today. Looks like this. All right, we're going to get through that much. But before we begin, quick question and be honest here. Did you know this was a Bob Dylan song before you heard the Adele version? Let me know below because I'm curious. I remember hearing this and be like, dang, Adele writing some pretty songs. And I was like, oh, Bob Dylan wrote that? What? That was crazy. It kind of reminds me. But I'm curious about this audience, this HD piano audience. How many of you guys are you know, Bob Dylan fans or... Perhaps you just discovered the song through Adele, which is also very cool. It reminds me of the Paul McCartney and Kanye collaboration and how a lot of people were like, hey, I don't know who Paul McCartney is, but dang, he's pretty good. Which, of course, to anyone who knows the Beatles is kind of like, are you serious? You don't know who Paul, Paul McCartney is? So I'm just kind of curious, like, did you guys know about Bob Dylan before this song or not? Comment below and let the uh, comment wars ensue. Be nice, though, all right? Okay, so, Make You Feel My Love. We're in the key of B-flat major. And what I gave you was a just ever so slightly simplified version. Um, I just left out kind of some of the syncopation in the left hand um, because that stuff can be really tricky to convey. And in this video, I just want to break down the chords and make sure you are left with that. And the chords are going to get you through all the verse uh, moments in the song. And that just leaves the chorus, essentially. But what I will do in the next video is go through all of the verse changes and just show you like, hey, this is the little trick here. This is the little spot here. And you can pick that stuff up as you want. Um, basically, you know, if you think that you just want to stick to the simple version, that's totally cool. But if you're like, you know, I really want to pick up what I heard at minute, you know, 118, then consult part two. All right, let's dive in. I'm just going to go through the most basic forms of the chords to begin with. B flat major, octave B flats in the left, F, B flat, D, and F in the right. Okay? This is our home base. B flat major, and we've got this descending bass line. F over A. So we play octave A's in the left, and we move our B flat and D to A and C, keeping our F's on the exterior of our right hand. So one measure of each, followed by a flat major, A flat's in the left, A flat, C, and E flat in the right. Another measure of this, E flat major. That's our four chord, for those of you theory nerds out there. E flat in the left, G, B flat, and E flat in the right. So we're halfway. That was four measures, let's recap. B flat, F over A, A flat major, and E flat major. All right, now, slight change. We're going to go to E flat minor, which means we take the third degree of E flat, which is G, and we make it minor by taking it down a half step. Big change there. It's like happy to sad. Whoa, makes you rethink. All right, so that's E flat minor, G flat, B flat, E flat in the right hand with E flat in the left. And back down to B flat major and then we have C7 C in the left G B flat E and in this measure we have two chords so two beats on C7 two beats on F sus that's F in the left and G B flat E flat in the right you could also call it E flat over F it's the same chord as our E flat major but we've got an F in the bass and that resolves to home base, B flat major. So recapping those last four bars there, we started on E flat minor for a measure. Then we got a measure of B flat, two beats of C7, F sus, 
and then a measure of B flat. Now that is the um, those are the those are the changes for almost the entire song except for the chorus. So right there, you're ninety percent there. But I'm just gonna keep kind of going into detail, diving a little deeper with each pass. So check this out. So you'll see I'm using notes from each chord. And of course, I'm just doing what the original pianist did. But you'll notice it's just taking these notes and exploring them a little bit. And with these lessons where, you know, I'm literally teaching a part as it was performed, I definitely always want to encourage you guys to come up with your own version if you, if you see fit. If you hear something different, go for it. I totally encourage that. Just use notes from the chords and, you know, hopefully you'll come up with something that works. So... The rhythm of the first measure looks like this. One and two and three, four and one. So we re-articulate re the chord on the and of two. So one and two and three, four and. And on four and the and of four, we play B flat and a D and a B flat in the right. That kind of leads us into the next measure. Land on our F over A. So in this case, we've got A on top and on bottom in the right hand, and we have C and F in the middle. But we're gonna take that down to our original voicing. One and two and three, four and. So on four and, we played A and F to C. Four and one, and that takes us into A flat. So two measures so far, three, four. One and two and three, four and one, two and three, four and one, two and three and four and. What happened there? A flat major, repeat on the and of two. One and two and three and four and. And on the and of four there, sorry, and of three, and four and. That's A flat to B flat and E flat, back to A flat. One and two and three and four and boom, that takes us into E flat major. And here's what we do for E flat. Probably the most simple yet. E flat and repeat on the end of two, four and one. So on four and, just re-articulate G and B flat. And then we land on E flat minor. So you'll notice that's a pattern, right? One and two and three, four and one and two and three, four and one, two and three, four and one, two and three, four and one and two and three and four. So there we kind of speed up there. But you'll notice, you play the chord, and you hit it again on the end of two. Very typical pop piano move. So write that down. Keep it in the back of your mind. You're going to be seeing a lot of that in this song and others. So here we are on E flat minor. One and two and three and four and. So in that case, we played G flat, B flat, and F, and took that top note down to an E flat but in the speed of a 16th note. So four E and a. Instead of four and, it was four E and a. And that leads us into B flat major. Moving on, guess what we're gonna do? One and two and three, four and. So I played B flat twice and on beat four, took the exterior notes and then on the and of four, filled it in with that B flat. Okay, moving on to C7. We play the outer notes of the chord, or rather the upper notes, B flat and E. And in the thumb, we play two Gs, one and two and. We articulate that B flat on the and of two. And we do the same for our E flat over F chord. Three and four and, and we land on B flat major. All 
right, so there you go. That is the shell of the tune, essentially. Now, in the future videos, I will be going a little bit deeper in terms of left hand and kind of some slight embellishments that we can do in each hand. But I just want to get you guys started off with the basics in this part. So I'll play through it one more time at a nice slow tempo. Here we go. Three, four. One, and two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, one, and two, and three, four, and one, and two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, and four, and a one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then we're into the verse. Now with this video alone, you could just keep playing that and you'd be able to get up to the chorus, no problem. And following the chorus, you'd be able to resume the verse, no problem. But in part two, I will be breaking down each individual verse and more or less just playing through them and kind of pointing out like, ah, oh, check this out, check this out. Just so that you guys have the chance to pick up those uh, intricacies in the piano part. Followed by a video for the chorus and a video that covers the melody so that you can do something nice and pianistic during that string moment in case you don't have a string quartet to back you up, which you probably don't. All right, and then after that, I'll be playing the whole song down from start to finish so you can see how it all comes together. And that is all over at hdpiano.com, home of the hybrid piano lesson. While you're here, like and subscribe on YouTube and follow us on all those social media platforms. This is Devin with hdpiano.com. Thanks for getting this far. We'll see you at the next video.